Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 4th of June 2023. Uh, the pictures you are seeing are from Bangkok Pride uh, for this year. Uh, and I should be talking about that for the next couple of minutes before we get on with the Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle of Sudoku. Doku. Um, right, well, Bangkok Pride, uh, do they really need it? Uh, well, I have to tell you that uh, mostly in Thailand, the LGBT, LGBT community is not really discriminate, discriminated against in society. Um, there is no real discrimination uh, in general society. However, there certainly are legal drawbacks um, you know, there's no equality of marriage and there are a few other issues that need to be addressed. Uh, for example, um, school uniforms are compulsory from, you know, young kids right up through university are still wearing school uniforms and, 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 and uh, official haircuts and things like this. And these have been the focus over the last few years of attention for um, people, you know, demanding equality. I have to say, though, uh, trans people are really good at actually making their school uniform look like <laughs> the school uniform of the other gender without actually changing it. It's They do something really amazing. <laughs> but anyway, that's a by the by. Um, so, uh, you know, but of course, uh, it comes at a useful time. This I have to say that this is a kind of commercial event uh, that's been organized by some of the shopping centers because they want to turn it into an annual event where they can make money so <laughs> there's that aspect to this as well um, but le that's uh, another issue I guess and this is a time when uh, much of the world is uh, seeing uh, regression you know we've seen lots of um, progress over the years recent years uh, of uh, you know and integration into society and I think that's still true in many countries, but you know there are some, there is some fight back right now, and in particular, of course, in the U.S., where we are seeing absolutely disgraceful behavior from politicians trying to hate people, trying to force their hate on others and encourage hate. Um, that's all it is, really, and they think they can get votes by it. Uh, I think the majority of people are against it, against the discrimination, but. Um, unfortunately, there are you know people trying to force this uh, hatred on others. So um, what else? Okay, so the person that you can see uh, here being interviewed uh, is the possible next future prime minister of Thailand. I say possible because a few weeks ago we had an election and his party won a huge majority, but we don't really have democracy in Thailand. And uh, whether or not he can actually form a government is uh, open is an open question. But he was interviewed here. Uh, I don't have any sound on it, but um, he was interviewed, and he is a very intelligent and likable person. He's very popular uh, amongst the younger generation, and um, he's intelligent. You can hear him interviewed in English on various YouTube clips. He's a Harvard graduate. Uh, he's a very sensible person, by the sounds of it, very forward-thinking, but he understands the situation too. Uh, his interview in Thai about, uh, he said um, that he uh, was in favor of uh, equality and that this would send a signal out to the world. Uh, he said, um, I've forgotten what he said now, but he said something like um, that Bangkok was a safe place to be and that everybody should come here and that people have it said it wasn't only about uh, sexuality but about the right to express yourself and there we are a forward-thinking person uh, I'm not sure I know about his economic policies but anyway we'll see what happens if he ever gets uh, to be Prime Minister okay shall we get on with the game of Sudoku okay so it's the Los Angeles expert level game regular for this channel as long as I have time to play it um, what can I see happening? Okay, I can start by saying that we have sevens, uh, sevens blocking down this column and down this column and seven. You may have got something else uh, different to begin with, but who cares? Because uh, as long as you get to the end in whatever way you prefer, that's the only important thing about Sudoku is enjoying the game. 
express yourself through Sudoku if you like. <laughs> um, just enjoy it and uh, however you like to play the game is right for you. Um, what else is happening? Do, 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 do we see anything else? Yes, we have a five blocking down here and a five across here. So let's get ourselves a five in that square. Then the fives across these two rows will put a five down there. <clears throat> Okay, we have a six blocking down here, which means six is in one of these squares only. Not the bottom one, I know, but anyway, that's not important. Six blocking up here, six across here. So six has to fit there. We have seven across here and seven down here, so we'll get ourselves a seven in that square. Seven up, seven down, seven across, seven in that square, seven across this row, and across this row we'll place a seven here as well. That's going to give us sevens in those. No, it's not. Seven blocks these squares here, seven blocks here and here. Ooh, it went too far. I took it too far. Uh, means that we just will place a seven in that square there. And we've got sevens across these rows here, which puts the final seven there. OK, what are we missing over here? We're looking for nine and something. Two and nine. OK, we've got the two blocking down here. So the two will go there and the nine will be in that square. We've also got nine blocking across here, which gives us a nine there. Uh, so the missing numbers here in here are four and six. We have six down here, so that's our six. This will be our four. Six blocking down here and six across here gives us another six there. Um... We have eight blocking across here, so there's our eight. Uh, we'll have in these squares here one and three. So at the end here, we're looking for a two. And oh, this would be one and three as well. We've got one three there, one three over there. Right, that might be the easy ones out of the way, and now it's time. Now it's time to think. That certainly happens often enough with the LA Times. Oh no. Uh, okay, we have five across here, and we have five up here and five down here, so we'll fit a five nicely in there. There seems to be a shortage of ones. That's the only one on the board, and we need a few more to help out. OK, so in that case, let's have a look and see if we can see something else instead of the ones. Now, I know something about threes. I know that threes are there and here.
unfortunately we've got like a little th thing there Ah, okay, we've got three and four blocking down here, three and four blocking across here, so we get ourselves a pair of three and four in these squares. Now what do we know? We know that the eight blocks across here, so eight is in one of these two squares, blocking up, eight blocking up here, we will get an eight there. Ta-da! And the eight blocking across here and eight blocking up here matches with the threes that we've got as well, three and eight. So this is a pair of three and eight. Uh, I know I'm jumping around a little here, but <laughs> uh, I just I'm not sure that I'm going to be. This is going to be fruitful. I'll get back to that in a second. But here I've got three and eight. Now the ones are still dastardly. I still have no idea about ones. The twos are not going to be very forgiving. The th what did I say here? Three and eight, right? Okay, so the sixes. Uh, not very good and the nines might be useful okay so we've got nine blocking up here so we can say that nine is in these squares let's see nine nine is there mm. not that great so maybe I'll come back to whatever on earth I was doing down here three and no it can't be three and six three and what was, it, what was in these two squares? Six and her. That can't be right. Four and three, sorry. <laughs> so we've got a six there already. <laughs> See how terrible my memory is, right? Four and three. Okay, we've got four and three in these squares. Let's look again. Um, so what do we know about the one? Nothing. What do we know about the two anywhere here um, what do we know about the eight we already said eights are here and what do we know about the no ah nine blocks this square so this is two eight and nine here right we've got two eight and two eight and nine in this column and we know that this is three and four right I am right aren't I three and four okay so two eight nine so this is a one finally ah uh, this one's gonna struggle to the end I'm sure of it Okay, uh, this has to be a one, doesn't it? Um, our one blocks down here, that gives us a one in that square. This would be a one up here, and the missing number here is going to be a three. Three up here, three down here, that gives us a three in this square. This is a four, we know from what we just worked out. Uh, yeah, and this is, of course, 289, as we've said before. Okay, missing digits up here are four, five, and nine. We've got four and five in the same row, so this can't be four or five. It has to be a nine. Now I worked out nine was over here, didn't I? This was this was three and eight, right? And then we had nine blocking up here. We had nine in these squares blocking across here, nine blocking across here, and nine going up there. Yes. That's our nine, then nine down here and nine up here. That puts a nine into that square there. And uh, missing numbers up here are one and three, I believe. So we've got the three blocking here. There's the three and there's the one. Now one blocks across here and across here and that gives us digit one there. 
Missing numbers here are 2 and 8. We've got the 8 blocking up here, so there's the 8 and there's the 2. Uh, missing from here and here are 4 and 5, and I don't know much about those just yet. This is also 4 5 here, right? Um, so we can say this is a pair of 4 and 5 along here. These cannot include 4 or 5, so they must be 3 and 8, which... Oh, my telephone made me jump, which we can see anyway. 3 and 8. Any help on 3 or 8? No, no help. Uh, so here we're looking for... 2, 6, and 9. Uh, we have the 2, and we have the 9. But that's it. Okay, but we certainly have made uh, quite a lot of progress, I think. Shift around on the chair to get comfy. So uh, the middle shoot is what's going to give us whatever we need. Um, if only we can find it. OK, we have nine blocking here and nine blocking here. So there's our nine. And that will leave us with two five here. We've got the two from on the high. So the two goes there and the five is in that square. Five blocks up here gives us a five here. Five blocking across here puts the final five here. This is a four and of course this is a four. And now we have four across here and four down here. So there's a four. And um, I seem to be playing reasonably well uh, over this weekend, don't you think? Fellow Sudokans, my, I seem to be rather more alert than usual. I'm so often so sleepy when I play these games, but maybe it's because tomorrow's a holiday here in Bangkok. That's a one. Just seem to be more alert than usual, which is a good thing when playing this game of Sudoku. You should really pay attention to what you're doing. Three blocks across here. Here's a three. And the last digit here is, I don't know, a six. Uh, we have six blocking across here and six up here. That gives us a six in that square. Six up here and six up here it means that that's the final digit, six. And uh, where to go now? Not many places left. I think I'm just going to click on see what we've got missing. Uh, I'm not sure about the ones there here and here. Let's see about the twos. Yep, two blocks up here and across here, so that gives a two in that square. Two down here, two up here. That means you're a two, dear friend. And across here, we'll finish off the twos. Then the last number to place here is an eight. Eight blocks across here. That gives me an eight here. Eight up here and eight across here. It means that's an eight. The last numbers. Uh, in this row, 9, I think. We have a 9 blocking down here. That will give us a 9 there. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're looking for a 3 here. 3 blocks down here and gives us a 3 in that square. We'll finish with the number that caused consternation at the beginning, the 1. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, remember, uh, be proud if you have reason to be proud. And don't hate people. Don't discriminate against people. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.